What do you do, lads? You're 45. Do you want to see my method? Ready? Your method? My method. So what we've got here is the cables that are going to go behind the TV. So as you can see, we've got C, A and TV6 and E6. So everything number six that is behind this, because it is TV position number six. We're going to remove the length of the cables. The orange lives behind the TV. The red is going to go into an ear one and then loop into the TV and then go forward. So what you usually start with is see if there's any slack we can remove, but that is chopped down the wall so they are pretty tight. The video distribution ballon is going to live in the back box and we're going to have an ear one that lives inside the back box. The coax is going to go straight forward, straight through to the TV. That's the same balance. Now what we do is we'll probably leave a loop of length on it, like that. Now these trays. We need second fixing TVs and stuff. Absolutely first class. I've got all my connectors in here, the tools that I need in there, and some label tape. So I'm going to redo the heat shrink on it. So I know it's TV number six. Blocks button there. Tell it this three box. A06, E06, TV06. Right, and I come back to that one there. Auto. Watch this. So first one. One. Don't need that. Level one. Level two. Level three. A6, TV6, E06. Lovely. So these two here are going to come into the EA1. It's going to be the box and the orange is a spare for an audio return. So what I'm going to do with those two there is I'm going to cut them off. <coughs> then our coax, which is going to come into the TV, and again, I'm going to cut that off. So we'll label those up. TV6. So we'll set them on the end of there. A6. And an E6. Now this TV has an ear one behind it. You know, four of them will to help with the Zigbee strength for the remotes, and some won't. Now if it didn't have it behind it, then I'll cut that off the same length as that to go to the TV. So that's gonna have that on. So I'm gonna do this one first. Back part, one first. I'm going to loosen that up slightly. Putting that to there. I'm gonna take off about two inches. Oh, what's that? My missus asks. It's actually three inches. <laughs> I'm going to pull my drain wire to the back, then all these because this is a SFTP cable, so shielded foil twisted pair cable. Let's take all the foils off, undo these. Being very careful because this Cat 6A is going to carry our video distribution. The reason we use Cat 6A is thicker cause, <coughs> um, and it's going to carry more bandwidth through there. So there we go, got that back. So it's got them back. Give a flush cut, so a little a pair of scissors. Nip that one off. Get that off. Look at that. Get that one off. And this one, I'm actually gonna get the drain wire to it. So open it up, we'll put the drain wire in it, we're gonna fold it in half, like so. And that is gonna wrap around there like so just one solid wrap is cool cut that off so i've got my cars got my cars got my drain wire piece and then gonna get this piece which is the inner gonna connect it to b which is the bottom so orange and white before i go orange and white and green that side blue and brown those are in at the perfect position Orange, red and white. Those two, straighten them out. Green, green and white. Okay, straighten those out. We can get these up here like so, into this connector. And feed those in, grab hold of it, pull it right down. And so that, right down. And then back up a little bit just while I get my other cars in. Fold it over like that. We're gonna come around here with these two cars. Just 
straighten those out. Straighten those out. And these ones I'm actually going to do one at a time, so blue. And finally, the last connector, then I'm going to do straighten everything back out, pull it down as far as it will go, like so. There we go, make sure it's nice and even. Oh, last check, check everything's in the right order. Perfect, and I'm going to close that. Maybe use a pair of pliers. I've got pliers there. I've got pliers, pliers, or a part of your croppers. There we go, give that a little nip in, and get my flush cuts. I'm going to nip them off one at a time so that they don't short together. We've got everything's cut back, perfect. That's nipped down there. I'm then gonna get this part of the connector, which is gonna go on that side, like that. So we're gonna clip him. You can see that foil part, just pull that there. The foil part just sits on there, perfectly. It's as if I've done this one before. Then we're gonna pull this part forward, that can hold, hold it in place. So as I sit that in place there, the back strain relief is gonna sit down into that connector there, like so. And then gonna get the front half of my connector. I'm gonna sit that into there. That's gonna come around the back on there. What I'm gonna do, make sure, it's just trying to escape, right, it's on there. I'm gonna get the same pliers or cutters on this example. Nip it shut, I'm gonna tighten that bolt. The strain relief, and there we go. Cat 6A, RJ45, and cable E06. I'm gonna put boot on each one before I forget them. I'll put boot on. A little tip for those who didn't know, the Simply 45 crimper. Simply 45 crimper actually has a stripper built in, just there. So I'm gonna pull that in, do a turn. i pull this one in, do a turn. And snap it off. Snap that off, and as you can see, I like doing things together. Batch work. I pull all that back to expose the cord and the inner dielectric, a little bit of plastic. I pull those down, pull that down, pull that down. And give a flush cuts. Nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it. Come back into there. And I'm going to do my cables. So, okay, I'll do two at a time, right? Just because I'm feeling adventurous. So I start with my orange first. I strip my orange, straighten my fingers and leave it to the left. So I'll do the same with this one. If I'm gonna do it one at a time, make it easier for you to follow. Orange, stripped out, pulled to the left. Right, and I'm gonna get my brown. Strip my brown off, pull it off. I'm gonna leave the brown sat to the right. Orange to the left, brown to the right. Next, I'm gonna do my blue pair. Apart from this one goes the other way around, blue, blue and white. Again, I'm gonna straighten out my fingers. Apart from blue, I'm gonna leave poking straight up. So we're not creating a, a crucifix here. We're creating an RJ45 connector. My green pair, again, green and white to the left. I'm gonna do that pull straight forward. Yeah, so like that. And then what I'm gonna do is the assembly. Hold tight for this, because this is, this is how I do an RJ45. Very different to most, but this is my preferred method. So I've got all that like that. So my blue pair is already set up. I'm then gonna bring my green cores either side of my blue pair. I'm gonna give it all a little straighten out together. So we've got our middle blue, uh, green and white, blue, blue and white, green. I'm gonna pull my orange pair into the left, brown pair into the right. I'm gonna give the full lot of straighten off again. I'm gonna get a pair of flush cuts. I'm gonna nip it off like so. I'm gonna get a boot. I'm gonna slip my boot on. Set my boot on like so. I'm gonna pull that back into position. I'm gonna check my ends, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. I'm gonna strip my ends so that these little ends don't go over the floor. It's simply 45 crimper. Pull it into position, crimp it, bosh. Done. And that's how you do an RJ45. We start there, because I know orange is on the left, right? Orange. Yeah. No strip it, no screwdriver on the thing. Use your fingers. Orange to the left. Yeah. Next up, brown. To the right. Brown to the right. 
Orange to the left, brown to the right. Next up we're doing blue. But don't forget your blue sits in the opposite order. So you swaps over the blue and the green in the middle. So like that, blue, blue and white. Straighten that out. Leave that up. And finally, green. Green and white, I'll strip that out. And depending on where it's sitting in the cable, you believe that's the front or the back. In this case, it's going to the back. Yeah. So on three cables like that. And next I'm gonna go left, 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 right. Straighten out. Pull my edge to the left. Straighten out. Pull brown up to the right. Straighten out. Then all the snips. I'm gonna cut it. Do a final check. I'm just like, oh, yeah, blue, what we need. Set my connector on. Pull my boot into the back. So it's on the course. Knock yourself out, might be perfect. So once we've done that, we're just gonna coil those cables back up, preempted with the labels, and put them in the box. Obviously they were one testing, but if you're going around testing, uh, connecting everything and testing at a later date, that's all that sitting there. And we're gonna leave this back on place, ready for it done. So yeah, when we turn up at a job, socket tested, cables done, and cables tested. Obviously their connectors can be tested, all labeled already, and then when the TV goes on, this is what we'll make off the coax end and take a black cat out of the ear one to the processor. Like that. Lovely.